Okay, 6263, we're going to talk about volumes of solids. And there's three different methods we're going to cover here. Uh, so you got to learn each method and also try not to get them mixed up. This first one is the disk washer method. Um, suppose you have a region in the xy plane, in this case in the first quadrant, bounded by y equals x squared, uh, y equals 0, and x equals 2. And we're going to take this, this region uh, in the xy plane in the first quadrant and revolve it around the x-axis. So you get kind of like a horn or a, a cone or something like that. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to um, partition this region along the x-axis and to sub-intervals and we're going to um, uh, pick an x sub i star in each sub-interval and look at the area of that rectangle and, and revolve that around the x-axis and, and get a cylinder. And uh, one thing that's really important uh, to keep straight is when you do this you should always draw your rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution. Always. So what is the um, volume of that typical cylinder? Why it's pi r squared h. Notice the radius in this particular problem is actually equal to the y coordinate. So it's, the radius um, becomes f of x sub i star. And, and the, the height actually becomes your delta x, doesn't it? So this, this, so this, this, is, this is what we get for the, for the volume of the ith cylinder. Add them up, take the limit, and you get the definite integral pi times the definite integral from a to b of f of x squared dx. One thing that's really important here is in general, it's not always going to be f of x, but it's always going to be pi times the distance to the axis of revolution squared del delta x. In this case, the distance is just f of x, but it won't always be. We'll see some examples in a little bit. So, so what is the answer to this problem? Well, f of x is x squared, the radius is x squared, the distance from the uh, from the outer edge of the cylinder to the axis of revolution is just f of x. So you get, you're adding these up from 0 to 2, so it's pi times the definite integral from 0 to 2 of x to the fourth dx, and you end up with 32 pi over 5. Okay, in this next one, our region look, looks like this. We're, we're in the first quadrant again. y equals x squared, y equals 4, and x equals 0. And I'm going to revolve around the y-axis th this time. Now remember what I said you always want to draw your rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution, so we're going to draw the rectangle horizontally. Uh, pick a y sub i star out of, out of a typical sub-interval, and, and we're going to compute the height or, of the rectangle using, using that value. Anyway, so when you, when you revolve it around the y-axis, you do get a, a, a disk or a cylinder again, and so the volume of that cylinder is going to be uh, pi times, in this case, the distance on the outer edge to the axis of revolution is just the x-coordinate, isn't it? Pi times x sub i star squared, and the, and the height is the thickness, or is delta y. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, um, although, we, since it's a dy integration here, we're, we're going to want to express this in terms of y, not x. So if, if this is x, if this function is x equals f of y, you want to write it as f of y. You don't want to write it as x. Okay, so... Um, uh, in general, again, I'll say it again, it's, it's going to be pi times the distance to the axis of revolution squared, times delta y in this case. Add them up, take the limit, you get pi times the integral from c to d of f of y squared dy. So what is it in this problem? Well, the distance um, to the axis of revolution is going to be your x sub i star, solving for, uh, it's going to be it's going to be an x, and then if you look at the integral, but, but when you solve the function, for x, you get x equals square root of y. So there you go. You plug, you plug instead of x squared, you plug in square root of y since it's a dy integration. Uh, so the integral just becomes pi uh, integral from 0 to 4 of y dy. And when you evaluate it, you should get um, 8 pi. Uh, suppose uh, the region looks like this. Um, y equals x squared, y equals 4, x equals 0 around the x-axis. We're going to revolve this around the x-axis. Now notice since we're revolving around the x-axis, we want to draw a vertical rectangle so it's perpendicular to the axis of revolution. But when you, when you revolve it, you actually get a washer. This is supposed to be a washer here. See how it's hollow in the middle? So what is the volume of that typical washer? Well, it's going to be the outer volume minus the inner volume. The inner volume is the one that you cut out to get the washer. And the outer volume, remember, it's the distance from the outer edge of the cylinder to the axis of revolution. So wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be in this, if this is f of x in general, it'll be f of x, uh, f of x sub i star squared. The, the volume becomes pi times f of x sub i star squared delta x. And the inner volume, if the inner function is g of x, 
the, the inner, inner volume becomes um, pi times g of x of i star squared delta x. It's outer volume minus inner. You can simplify this a little bit. You can factor out the pi and the and the uh, delta x. Just add it up, take the limit, you get the definite integral. Um, in general, though, I'll say it again, it, it, instead of thinking of it as f of x and g of x, it's the outer radius, in other words, the outer distance to the axis of revolution squared minus the inner distance to the minus the inner distance to the axis of revolution squared. Okay? So in this case, what would the outer distance be, the outer radius? Uh, if you look at this, this region, isn't it going to be from here to here? Isn't it just 4? Right? So you get 4 squared minus the inner distance would be the, the y coordinate, but we want a dx integration because you partition the x-axis. So instead of y, you put x squared squared. So you get 16 minus x to the fourth. When you do the integration, you get 128 pi over 5. Okay, let's keep going here. You can, you can revolve uh, regions around things other than axes, too. Suppose we have this region bounded by x squared, y equal 4, and x equals 0, so it looks like this. Instead of revolving it around uh, an axis, we're going to revolve around the line x equal 2. Ready? Uh, now, notice it, we, we draw our typical rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution, so it should be a horizontal rectangle, which means it's a dy integration because you're adding these, these, you're going to add these volumes up along the y-axis. You do get a washer, and um, the typical volume, the typical washer, is going to be um, the outer volume minus the inner volume. And the outer volume, remember what I was saying, it's, it's the distance um, from the um, edge to the, the outer edge to the axis of revolution, so it's from here to here would be the outer radius squared, or the outer distance squared. And the inner distance squared would be uh, the inner distance is from this edge to the axis of revolution would be this squared. Anyway, so, the, so, so the volume becomes pi times the outer distance squared delta y. And the inner volume becomes pi times the inner distance to the axis of revolution squared delta y. Take the limit, uh, and, and so the, the integral becomes pi times the integral from c to d of the outer distance to the axis of revolution squared minus the inner distance to the axis of revolution squared, in this case dy. So in this case, what is the outer distance from, from, from the, of, the, um, of the washer to the axis of revolution? It's this whole distance here, which is, isn't this just 2? So it's 2 squared, minus the inner distance. What is, how would you call this? Well, if this from here to here is x, and this is 2, isn't this distance 2 minus x? That's why you get 2 minus x squared dy. Although we, we have to get a dy integration because we partitioned the y-axis. So you're going to replace x. If y equals x squared, then isn't x square root of y? So be sure to replace x with square root of y. There you go. Anyway, we're, we're not going to focus as much on the computations, just setting them up. Okay, let's look at this one. We've got y equals x squared, y equals 4, x equals 0. So this is our region right here. But revolving around the line, y equals negative 1. So our region looks like this. Revolving around y equals negative 1. Uh, do, do you see that it's going to be a dx integration? because we want to draw the rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution, so we're partitioning the x-axis here. It's going to be a dx integration. And we do, we do get a washer, but the washer, uh, I should say, yeah, the washer is going to be um, centered along the line y equals negative 1, not, not the x-axis. The volume of that typical washer is um, uh, the outer volume minus the inner volume. Now this is where it comes into play what, I was, what I've been talking about. What is the outer radius? It's the distance from the edge of the washer to the axis of revolution. It's going to be from here to here, dx. And what is the inner radius? It's going to be the distance from the inner edge of the, well, I should say washer, to the axis of revolution. So distance from here to here squared. Add them up, take the limit, and so the, the volume is going to be pi times the integral from a to b, the outer distance to the axis of revolution squared minus the inner distance to the axis of revolution squared, a dx integration. So in this case, you see what's going to happen in this case? It's going to be pi times, we're going, to, we're going to add these up from 0 to 2. It's a dx integration. What is the outer distance from here to here? Well, it's going to be the function, x squared, minus negative 1. So it becomes, actually, it becomes x squared plus 1 squared. Minus the inner distance, from the inner radius. What is it from here to here? Isn't it 0 minus negative 1, or just 1? That should be squared. It's kind of silly, but it's... Anyway, so it's the, it's the, so the outer distance squared, to the axis of revolution minus the inner distance squared of the axis of revolution. Dx integration. Bye bye.